So today is the 2nd of August and therefore Vida Day 2 and I thought today's video could be my booktubers on TBR so I'm gonna start from the beginning. So uh, there are seven challenges for the booktubers on and I'm gonna try emphasis on the try to do all of them. I really doubt that I'll be able to do all of them because I've got work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and then <laughs> I'm camping in a field in Inverkip for Wednesday onwards so I don't think I'll be able to do all of them but I'm gonna try. We'll see how it goes. So the first challenge is to read a book with blue on the cover and for that I'm going for The Princess Diaries Take Two which is the second one so obviously I'm also going to be reading the first one which is the pink one. Uh, the second challenge is to read a book that you really want to read and for that I'm going for This Book is Gay by James Dawson which I borrowed from the library and I've wanted to read for several weeks but I've just never quite got around to it. Uh, the third challenge is to read the book you most recently acquired and for me that's The Firework Maker's Daughter by Philip Pullman. Uh, this is also going to work for me for challenge four which is to read a book start and finish it without ever putting it down and because this is quite a thin book I think I'll be able to accomplish that. Uh, one, two, three, four. Challenge five is to read a book where the author's last name has the same first letter as your last name. For the TBR I've gone for Rune, Rune Marks by Joanne Harris which I've had on my shelf for literally years but it's quite big for the booktubeathon. It's like several hundred pages. This is 450 and the, god the text is quite small. Um, so I might not be able to do that. So if if I can I might try and swap it for something else but like I said I'm at work for the first three days and then in a field so if I can't swap it for something else this is what I'm going to try for. Uh, and then the last challenge is to read seven books. So there, oh no there's one more, sorry, there's to read somebody else's favourite book and I asked loads of people but didn't really have access to lots of people's answers um, and lots of the people I know don't have favourite books because like they're readers and therefore trying to pick a favourite book is like trying to pick a favourite child or something. Um, that might just have been my parents' answer but whatevs. Um, but so I thought I would go for Magical Molly's favourite book because she's very clear that that's Peter Pan and I can get that on the Kindle and I've got a Kindle app on my phone which is what I'm recording on so I can't really show you but so I've downloaded Peter Pan and Wendy which I've never read and I'm going to read that as challenge number six. Challenge number seven is to read seven books in a week. So I have two other books that will up me to seven and those are Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick and The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily E. Danforth. Uh, both of which are things that I really, really want to get to but they're relatively big. So if I can get through all six of the other ones, which I will be mighty impressed if I can, then I will pick one of those ones. Unfortunately, I haven't finished Clockwork Princess at the time of the start of the booktubeathon, so that's going to have to be paused until next Monday when I can restart that and finish reading that, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so that's my TBR for the booktubeathon, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another day on Feeder. Bye!